All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Fayetteco, and I'm back again with finally a brand new video. I know it's been like a week or two, and I feel kind of bad, but hopefully I'll be posting more consistently now. I just kind of was busy, but um, today, guys, I'm gonna bring you a different kind of video than I normally do. And first of all, I want to say this gameplay is not mine. Um, I don't even own a gaming PC. This gameplay is from a channel called No Copyright Gameplays, or something like that. It's No Copyright Gameplays or No Copyrighted Gameplay, something like that. I'll leave his channel linked in the description. But um, if you guys want gameplays, I suggest you go to him. He's got awesome gameplay with a bunch of games. But um, today's video, it's gonna be a story time, and the story I'm gonna be telling is how my bus, um, when we were going on a school trip, a school field trip, um, we got pulled over. And uh, it was kind of funny because there's a funny after part to it, too. But I'm just going to start the story off by saying um, the bus driver, he was a little bit older. He was probably about 50 to 60 years old, maybe. I don't know. I couldn't, I didn't see him too much, but um, I was in the back of the bus. But we were basically we're going um, to this uh, outdoor museum kind of place, and it was like interactive and stuff and you got to learn about certain things and stuff like wars and um it was a pretty long drive and of course we had to go onto the highway for it and so we're driving on the highway and um it's the place you're going to is kind of in a remote area and like a field that they kind of just built this place in so the bus driver had his uh gps and i didn't even notice this but apparently um there's i didn't even know there was police behind us but they were like a uh maybe one or two lanes over on the highway and they were apparently watching us and I didn't even see but apparently the bus driver was swerving in and out of his lane a little bit which is kind of scary considering he had like 40 kids in his bus and uh all of a sudden the police lights started going on and they one of there was two police cars and they were back to back or not back to back they were like there's one in front of the other in the two lanes over and all of a sudden they cross over the lanes and one flies in front of the bus and like has the sirens on and the other one goes behind and so our bus was getting pulled over by the police and it took a little while to find a spot to pull over so it was kind of scary watching like the police and stuff um going on both sides of us and then eventually once we were able to pull over um the bus driver did and they didn't even come out for a little while they didn't come out of their cars they just sat there for a little bit and then when they came over the bus driver opened the bus door and they walked up and they just started yelling at him they're like you're swerving in and out of your lane on your phone because they thought he was on his phone because he apparently kept looking down i didn't even see it but they're like you're swerving out of your lane in and out back and forth into our lane which is lane and two over and I don't think anyone on the bus saw it. I don't know if they were one lane close or not, but he apparently was swerving in and out of his lane going into another one. And so they started yelling at him, and they go, oh, yeah, you're doing really bad things because you're responsible for the lives of these 40 kids in the back of your bus, and you're swerving in and out on your phone in the highway. And um, it was like people started recording and stuff. It was kind of getting crazy because the police were yelling at this guy. And um, the bus driver said he was looking at his GPS because he didn't know where he was going because it was kind of in a remote area. And that's the police said uh, they started asking the teachers who were sitting in the front of the bus if they saw him go on his phone. They said they thought he saw him go on his GPS. They don't really know. Um, and the end of it, uh, they ended up just giving him a ticket, I think. And then they let him keep going because there was no substitute bus driver that could come and get us because we were like more than halfway there and we're sitting in the middle of the highway right now. And so they just had, um, they gave him a ticket, and I think he had to go uh, pay something. I can't even remember. It was a while ago. It was like a year and a half ago. And so that's basically what happened with that. And then we get to the spot, and then after the field trip, the bus driver comes back, um, the one that got the ticket for getting pulled over for apparently being on his phone or on his GPS, but he was swerving. And he... Um, he was a bus driver for our way back, and apparently, like, we were going, we were, like, so close back, but we were behind, too, because we were the last bus to leave, because he was a little late to get there, um, and on our way back, he was, uh, driving, and we were in, like, a town now, and the bus, like, broke down, and then he had to, like, spend 30 minutes fixing it, and he just had a really bad day, and I felt kind of bad for him, unless he really was on his phone. By the way, I'm sorry if you hear my dog. She's kind of going crazy. There's probably a dog across the street or something, but, um, and that's basically the story, guys. Our bus driver got pulled over. The police came on the bus, started yelling, and then on the way back, his bus broke down, like, I think once or twice even, maybe, he had to stop to try to fix it, and eventually we made it back, um, a little, like, an hour later than all the rest of the buses, got back to the school but anyways guys if you did enjoy this video let me know with a comment and a like and also subscribe if you're new thank you guys